Let's talk about routing in this video. And routing is basically mapping the URL or the location that you're at to the correct components and layouts. So I'll show you what I mean. If we come in here, notice that we've got this router folder and then we've got routes.js. So let's jump into there, close that out. And let me show you how all of this works. First, I just wanna lay this out a little bit differently makes it a little bit easier to see and understand. This is actually what I do at work as well, just to make it a bit more readable. So notice up here we have slash and then nothing. And we're getting this index page here. Let's have a look at how that actually works and how we get to that point. Basically here we're saying, if you go to slash, so that aligns with this slash up here, and then you go to the path of nothing, then that's going to take you to this index page. So if I were to change this to home, for example, that basically means if I were to go to slash home, we will then get this index page, which is why you can't see anything now. So we now add in here home, it works again. In fact, check this out. Let's copy this down and then change this to to do. So now if you go to slash home, so slash home, you're going to get the index page. If you go to slash to do, you're also going to get that index page. So check this out. I can change that to to do and we get the exact same thing. So that's the first thing to understand. The second thing to understand is what's going on here with this main layout component. And in order to explain that, I might just make this a bit smaller, go control two and then search for the main layout file okay so this file here is what i've got on the right here so what this is saying is if i go to slash home i want you to use this main layout file okay so that's this file here and i want you to inject into that file the index.view so if i come down here on our main file all the way down to the bottom here see this part here where it says router view what it's doing is it's saying, hey, take this component, if you go to home, take this component and using the main layout file, inject that component into this section here where it says router view. In fact, let's have a look at what happens if I comment that out. Notice that everything disappears now. And I can even say here, my content, notice that it shows up there. So this router.view component is basically saying, hey, this is where I want the rest of the content to be injected. This is where I want the rest of the content to be. All right, so let's go back to our original layout. We'll get rid of that. And now we can change this to something empty and then refresh the page. Oh, I might have to save this as well. And there we go, we have that original setup. So what if we wanna create our own layout? Well, what we can do is open up the console here and say Quasar, new layout and i'm going to call this blank layout so we'll create that and then i'm going to close that out and let's jump out of this file open up the left menu here and under layouts we now have this blank layout okay so in order to make this blank there's a lot of stuff that we basically have to remove so let's grab this section here all the way down to the part where we inject the router view. And there it is there. So if we get rid of all of that, this is where pages get injected. It even tells you in the comment there. So I'll save that. And I also wanna get rid of basically all of the scripting here. We don't need any scripting. By default, it gives you a left draw that you can toggle on and off. We don't need that. So I'm going to completely remove the script section. So now we have a very simple blank layout where we can inject the content here. So now let's jump into that routes.js file and change main layout to our new blank layout. And there we go. It's gotten rid of all of that shell that we had in the main layout and turned this into a blank layout. And if you wanted, you could edit that blank layout a little bit. So for example, maybe you wanna wrap this in a div I wouldn't actually do this, but here's an example. Q-padding or large. 
And there we go. So that's basically saying everything in this blank layout is now going to have that padding in there. And this gives you a lot of power. It means that you can have an extra level of abstraction in your code. And layouts have all sorts of cool stuff where you can add left drawers, right drawers, you can add footers, you can do whatever you want with the header. So it's a really cool to manage your project having layouts and pages. So now that we know that, let's have a look at what it might look like to create a login page. And we're just going to do the UI for the login page. We're not actually going to build a full login system. So let's say Quasar, new page, and let's call this login page. And there we go. So I'm going to jump into our routes.js file here. And let's change that from blank layout back to main layout. So we're back to our original example. Nice. So if I come back here into our console, notice that it showed us the page that we just created login page so let's control click that and maybe just give it some text that says login page that'll just make it a bit easier for us to see if it's working and it also says make sure to reference it in source router routes.js so i'm going to control click that to jump into that file this is the one we were looking at before and what we want to do here is basically say if we go to slash auth slash login then give me that login page. So let's have a look at how we would do that. We'll put an object in there and we can even use this as a reference. This is going to have a path equal to slash auth. So that's covered this section here. Now the component that we want to use is going to equal import layout slash blank layout. So we want to have a blank layout for our login page. Next, we're going to have some children routes. And the one I'm going to add in here is a path and we'll set that equal to login. And then the component for that, and we can just copy some page here. Sorry, some um, code from there. And let's change this to login page. That's the page that we created before. So, if we go to slash auth slash login, first of all, it will say, hey, this is the auth part that you're talking about. Here's the component I'm going to use, that blank layout. And since you've said slash login, I'm going to serve you up this login page. So let's test if that works. Slash auth slash login. And there we go. That's our blank login page. So that's how we do routing. But just for fun, let's actually finish this up and have a look at how we might actually make a login page just in terms of the UI. So I'll go in here, login page.view. And I might add in here a class equal to flex and then flex dash center. This is a very straightforward way to just get centered content. So there we go, it's centered straight away. Now let's add a Q dash card. And then a q-card-section. This card section just adds a little bit of padding, which is really nice. And let's call this login. And there we go. In fact, I might put the login text above there. I reckon that would look good. And we can do that inside of a div. So maybe I'll wrap this whole section in a div like that. And maybe we can wrap this, control shift enter in a h5. Let's try that. There we go, login. I want to get rid of the margining there. So let's say class is equal to Q dash margin Y. And I want to set that to something smaller. So maybe medium. And there we go. That's some good margining, I think. So for this card section, how about this? Let's have a Q dash input and let's have a label equal to email. And there we go. We've got our email section there. Login's now on the left. I think I want that centered. So we can actually say text dash center to center that also i think i want this to be filled i really like the field style okay that's looking good and how about we put a placeholder in placeholder email at example.com just to give the user a little bit of extra help there oh and it looks like the label is interfering with that oh no that works well so when we click on it we can then see the placeholder for a bit of extra information that's really cool let's copy paste this down and create a password section. So this is going to have a label equal to password. We won't have a placeholder for this, but we'll change the type of the field to password. And if I try typing in here, and there we go. 
And this little section here is just an extension that I use to remember my passwords using Google Chrome. So you can ignore that. Next, let's have a button for logging in. So Q-button, we can have a label equal to login. And I'm gonna make this full width. Class is equal to full dash width. And there we go, I think that looks good. And maybe set the color equal to primary. There you have it. Now these are way too close to each other. So how about on the email, we add some margining to the bottom. Class is equal to Q. So Quasar, put a margin on the bottom and make it a medium margin. And there you have it. You might also have like a remember me section. So maybe Q dash checkbox. Let's see what that does for us. Yeah, and let's imagine that the model value is equal to true. And maybe we'll put like a margin at the bottom of here as well. Q dash margin bottom small. So Quasar, give me a margin on the bottom and make it a small one. Cool. And then we can put a label here saying, remember me. Awesome. Now I feel like this is a little bit too thin. So what I like to do is say on my card, class is equal to full width. Oh, and I can't do that on the card. We'll probably have to do that on the div up here. Yeah, but it then kind of ruins the card and makes it super, super large. So then I add something like this. Style is equal to max width. And how about we set that to maybe 350 pixels? Hmm, probably too wide. Maybe 330. Oh, 300. Cool. All right, and the good thing about that, when you have max width here and a full width, it means that if it gets really small, this section is going to resize based on the size of the screen. I'm not sure we can actually get that small. I'll give you an example though. Let's just say we set this to 900. It's going to reach the ends of the window until it hits 900, but then it will get smaller as we make the size of the window smaller. So this is a trick that I like to use, full width. And the max width to me is kind of like saying this is the best possible viewing width. And there you have it, really basic login form. And another thing you could do to get it working properly with the enter key on your keyboard, you could wrap all of this, if I go up here, in a Q dash form. And then you can do stuff like say, hey, when, you, when I submit this, so for example, if I press enter on my keyboard, then I want you to submit this form. So that's why we've got this Q form component. But anyway, that's kind of going beyond the scope of this tutorial. Let's just recap. If we go to routes.js, basically we discovered that path here is kind of like a prefix. So if I go to slash nothing, I'm going to be using this layout and then this component will be injected into that layout. And we also discovered that if we wanted, we could even add some more paths here, like other dash path. And that means if I go to slash other dash path, we will still be using this layout, but then we can have like other component there if we wanted to. So I'll get rid of that. And then we realized that we can also have a default path of something like slash auth. And then we used our own layout, which was this blank layout. And then said, if we go to auth login, then we want to use the login page and that's going to be injected into the blank layout. So hopefully all of that made sense. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Routing is super powerful. And what I've shown you in this video actually only scratches the surface of routing in view. We can also have things like wildcard routes, but that's going to have to be for a later video. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video where we'll explore something else that Quasar has to offer.